How did your visit with your brother Caleb go? Great. I met his girl Michelle. She's very nice and down to earth. Caleb likes her a lot. I do too. How did he meet her? A few friends from work introduced them. Do they work together? No. Michelle works at the 7-Eleven on the corner of the street where Caleb's workplace is. Caleb is still working at Burger Universe. He likes his job and has made a few friends. He seems happier now that he has real friends and a girlfriend, finally. I hope that their relationship goes further. Before coming to bed, I checked on the kids. They're both sound asleep. They had a busy day. Logan loves playing soccer and Olivia loves ballet. Olivia also loves seeing her brother play. Logan is still thinking of trying out for baseball. Olivia also would love to be a cheerleader. I'm just glad that they're happy with what they enjoy doing. I want them to have the very best. I also want them to have it better than my brother and I did when we were kids. It's a shame that our religion wouldn't let us have these things. I remember even being guilted to give my ice cream money to watch our sheesh. If you ask me, that religion is no religion, but a cruel and evil cult that deprives children of their childhood, especially after what happened to you. I hate it when someone does that sort of thing to a child. It's just plain wrong and inexcusable. I agree, but I've moved on from there. I have both you and the kids. I have a lot to be grateful and thankful for. So do I. I'm grateful and thankful that I have both you and the kids. I think that you're the best thing that's happened to me. I feel the same way about you. I have it much better than most of the witness kids I grew up with. Many of these girls have married men who turned out to be very abusive. Or losers. Is that right? Unfortunately, yes. The religion doesn't allow divorce unless one commits adultery. To them, all other forms of divorce are wrong and unbiblical. I do feel sorry for them at times. Nothing wrong with that, but don't let it be too overwhelming for you. I don't. I just feel sorry for them. You came at the right time for me. I was getting over a failed relationship where the lady I was seeing hurt me terribly. I've had several bad relationships over the years that hurt me pretty bad. When I met you, you helped me to heal from all of that, which made me fall in love with you. And you came into my life when I was still dealing with issues from when I was sexually abused by that perverted elder at the Kingdom Hall. I was still feeling sad and depressed over all of that. But you helped me heal. I feel loved and appreciated by you. I guess something brought us together. Maybe someone up above was looking out for the both of us. I'm a believer in something like that. Maybe. I feel like the luckiest girl in the world for having met you. Same here, only in my case, the luckiest guy in the world. I got a text from my mom yesterday. Really? I thought she was shunning you. My mom does it secretly when my dad isn't around the trailer they were living in. She wants money. I'll have to think about that for a while. Ugh, well, it's up to you. Do you ever still run into that young lady who's still within the religion? You know, the one who was molested by her father? Yes, I do. Very frequently. I sometimes see her at the supermarket. I say hello, but she really doesn't want to speak to me anymore since I'm out. She'll say hello back, but then, she simply walks away from me without saying much of anything. She looks at me as if I don't exist anymore. That's terrible. Nobody deserves that. It seems that they're still in their own little world that they made themselves. That's how it is within the JW religion. They have their own little way of doing things, even though their way isn't very loving or healthy as they claim it is to be. But I wouldn't change a thing with my life right now with you. Me too. <sighs> I'm getting very sleepy. Let's go to sleep. We can talk more in the morning. I also feel sleepy. Good night, Sophia, my darling and my love. Good night, Bill, also my darling in love. You still want to just sleep? <laughs>